and we carried this baby together and laid him down on the sidewalk and as we unveiled him uh, I testified his head was decapitated. He had lost his head from about his chin back to the back of his head. And he had a little teddy bear on his shirt that, uh, as to how I recognized him. After I testified to that in the McVeigh trial, uh, I just got off the stand. I walked into the courthouse in one of the rooms when uh, Janie Coverdale walked up to me and put her arms around me and just wept. Uh, that little baby was her grandson, Aaron. And I turned on some floodlights down in this area after a generator was fired up. And when I turned it on, the floors above us, what we thought was a ceiling was actually the floors above us. They had pancaked on top of each other and they were cracked. And there were circles uh, uh, about two foot and three foot in diameter just everywhere you looked. And it was the blood that was coming down between the floors and there was bodies crushed between these floors. That, that, these impressions are what's in here the ones that we had to live with and we had to cope with and we had to deal with. But folks, me just telling you that story and me seeing that is nothing compared to what the families have to live with every day. Jerry, given this story. About a third, about a third of the building has been blown. Just cold. <laughs> But today, they're seeing this from a whole total direction than what they've seen on the past few weeks that the trial's been going on. They're seeing now the devastation that was caused by these people who manufactured this bomb to do this type of devastation in this country. It's unheard of. These people now are seeing that it's more than a paper trail.